Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our, well, our Amazon review series and from our camping and survival series. Uh, that being, of course, we've got stuff from Amazon for camping and survival. Uh, now this one, we ended up getting quite a few products kind of all together. They're all basically the same kind of thing. And uh, here we go. Now, this is the Survivor Drive Box by MTM Case Guard. Uh, and uh, these are uh, US made for those of you who, uh, who kind of watch that. They are actually made in, uh, it says right here, Dayton, Ohio. Um, now, as you can see, this is uh, obviously the orange one. We have three green ones here. The orange one is a little taller. Didn't actually notice that when I first grabbed it. Uh, now they do have the same dimensions, side to side, top to bottom. Uh, this one just happens to be a little deeper. Uh, now a couple little features that are on these. Uh, obviously they are a solid uh, uh, plastic case here. They have uh, three little latches that hold it together and then it hinges at the bottom. All of them are the same in that aspect. Uh, they all come with the little compasses on here and uh, let's see if we can get it. Does it work? Yeah, I don't know how well some of these compasses are going to work. Some of these small ones like this don't always work very well. Uh, I also noticed that uh, in, in this area we have kind of an, uh, a magnetic field that messes with the, uh, with the compass so it tends to point north in the, di in the wrong direction. Uh, but along with these little latches to keep everything sealed, you can put, uh, they have these little holes here where you can put small padlocks on these if you happen to use it for uh, maybe ammunition, you can kind of use that as a deterrent to make it harder to get inside. And something else that they do come with, and uh, it may not seem like a big deal, but if you're using these, like I'll use some of these to put inside of my camping bags or something like that. I'll put a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, maybe some stuff that I don't want just rattling around in my bag. I can put it in here, kind of keep it in on one compartment. And uh, the nice thing is, uh, beyond the fact that it has a compass as long as it works, uh, it also has this little uh, silvered sticker down here on the bottom and now all of them actually have that and of course that little silvered sticker is uh, meant to be used to reflect the sunlight or something like that so if you need to try and get somebody's attention be it a plane uh, a boat or just somebody off in the distance you can take and use this as uh, as a mirror basically to reflect the sunlight uh, you can, of course, if you know how to use it properly, you can use it to do Morse code, or you can just sit there and just keep flashing across them uh, and trying to get their attention. Now, when you open it up, there's uh, nothing real major fancy on the inside. Uh, these are, again, dry boxes, so they do have a rubber gasket, uh, and this is like a kind of a softened rubber, so it does seal up tight against here. So when you put these latches down it pulls it tight and keeps the water out uh, so you can of course take these and um, you know put your equipment in it not worry so much about uh, water infiltration uh, I believe I saw on the uh, Amazon site I think they showed that they took these and actually buried them um, so I mean if you're one of the preppers that uh, is into uh, having things in different locations so that uh, if you can't go back home or something like that if there's a, an SHTF type of situation you can have a uh, handful of gear stowed in different areas um, you know maybe buried in different properties maybe that you own or if you happen to have permission or even if it's just some kind of uh, public property that you can kind of sneak in there and and uh, hide it but um, yeah they're pretty pretty simple in terms of the concept and everything uh, again, obviously, they do have the orange one, which is uh, highly visible, uh, of which I would probably put um, maybe some medical equipment in here, uh, first aid and things like that, maybe in this one. And then, of course, in the green ones, I uh, would then put uh, some other basic kind of things in there. Uh, now, the green ones here, they're basically um, the size of a large uh, trail camera. 
So uh, they kind of they kind of actually look like a trail camera with the uh, compass on the front there. Uh, so they could easily be, uh, you know, kind of disguised in that aspect. But uh, they also have these little uh, openings on either side here, so you could maybe strap it into a bag or something like that using some um, maybe some uh, flat nylon um, webbing and uh, kind of loop it or lash it on somehow that way. Uh, and uh, another thing I did notice is these do have little standoffs here along with these ridges that are here which do let them seat on top of each other so you can stack them if you happen to maybe want to use them for long-term storage maybe for food or something like that uh, you can then stack them and put them on shelves or anything like that uh, now inside the small one here it has a little uh, paperwork here and it shows you a lot of their other products that are available and like you can see on the cover here for the one that came out of the large one um, it does have uh, some uh, some ideas for like guns uh, they have different things that you can use for uh, for guns looks like for working on them and sighting them in and whatnot as well as they do suggest using these for uh, ammunition storage which of course these would be very good for because they are supposed to keep moisture out uh, and of course you want your ammunition to stay as dry as possible but uh, yeah pretty simple um, kind of review here uh, not a whole lot to these they are just simple boxes uh, they are they are heavy heavy weight I will say that so uh, I do think that they seem to be of a, a pretty good quality uh, durable and um, useful if you guys want to check some of these out uh, you can go down there in the description below we will have the link to the Amazon site down there as well as uh, we have our social media down there don't forget to check that out and on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe buttons if you haven't done that already and with, there's also that little bell icon don't forget to ring that bell let you get notified when we got new videos coming out here on world of me all right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This is the world of me. Another episode from our Amazon review series and our camping and survival series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.